Rescue operations have ended at the site of a construction disaster in southeastern China. Dozens of workers are dead. Now the investigation begins and the search for answers. CCTV's Sean Caleb is following the story. Sean? Susan, thanks very much. The accident happened when a massive scaffolding gave way at a construction site of a power plant cooling tower. Scores of people were killed. At least four people survived and are being treated for injuries. All that remained of the construction platform was a twisted heap of metal and concrete. Hundreds of rescue personnel were rushed in to handle the grim task of removing the victims who were wrapped in orange sheeting. Chinese President Xi Jinping has told those involved in the investigation to leave, quote, no stone unturned as they try to determine what went wrong. Construction had been going on for some time before the fatal accident. The third phase of the Fengcheng power plant project began on December 28, 2015. The cooling tower is 165 meters tall. The construction started in April this year. So far, about 70 meters of the tower has been completed. President Xi has made it clear that those responsible for the accident will be held accountable. The construction site is at a government-run coal-fired power plant. Just recently, the company vowed to accelerate work in what it termed the 100-day dash. All of the victims are said to be migrant workers. The state council has sent a team that will oversee a thorough investigation. Premier Li Keqiang says right now the focus should be on efforts to take care of those who were injured and then take steps to prevent future accidents. Susan? Sean, it seems a bit as if these industrial accidents are fairly common. Well, there's a certain degree of uh, symmetry there, but yes, the President Xi and his administration are working to try to reduce the number of accidents. One way is by cracking down on corruption. There were a deadly series of chemical explosions in the port city of Tianjin last year that claimed about 170 lives. Now, after the blast, the state director, the director rather, of state administration of work safety was charged with corruption. His trial just ended last week, where he admitted accepting more than $4 million in bribes.